So I just started a video where I was talking about how I'm trying to get more information about this, these gangs or criminals who stalk people and what kind of organizations paying for it. But I wanted to end on a, a positive note. So this is part two. Get recipe cards. I don't know if you can see this and put them in photo albums. You can get the cards that say things like where you got the recipe from, who gave you the recipe. I had this, this actually was my mom's and I wanted to share this with you as a good idea. If you can't spend a lot of money or find these at like flea markets or um, garage sales or wherever, then you could just improvise and you can even use a piece of paper. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't have to be something so formal, but if you do that, you can also attach strings to it. This is a little emery, uh, not emery, um, embroidery string. If you do this, you can use it on the outside of a bottle, for example, where you make something homemade and put the recipe if you want to give away your secret recipe. So that's an idea. Another way you can use these um, photo albums is by if you are like me and you're doing business and you want to make sure you keep your receipts, you stuff your receipts in them. You could also make notes. What I like about this um, particular photo album, let me turn the page for you, is that you see it has a little sheet of paper dividing the different sections. So you can write on it, make little notes to remind you. Like for example, I've, I'm trying to get all of my um, craft receipts organized so I can identify which crafts I use. And I, I just write it on the receipt. Sometimes these receipts rub off with this ink. So you might want to write it on a piece of paper. So it doesn't have to be elaborate. You can use paper, you can use um, uh, notepads, index cards, but I think that's a great gift idea. So if you're not someone who wants to, um, or maybe, you know, you want a cheap personalized gift, just fill up a photo album with photos, recipes, little notes. I think that would be so great, like a Valentine's Day present where you kind of write little notes about the person or to the person and let that person read it. So these are just little ideas, like little letters to someone that you really care about. Let me give you one more idea. So then the next idea, and I got this idea many years ago, you take tennis balls, put them into socks, and you wash your down coats, uh, you wash your down coats and then you put this in the dryer with the down coats. You could also do it with your comforters. You can do it with anything that's puffy. So, you know, the puffer coats, you put the tennis balls and the socks in the dryer. If you want, you can, you know, just reuse it. What I did was I took the tennis balls from years ago and I keep them in these socks and then I put them into a little bag. So I don't even take the tennis balls out of the socks. I don't even know what the tennis balls will look like if I take it out of socks. Maybe I'll try that right now. Hold on for one moment. Let's see how it looks. Guys, mystery solved. It looks like a tennis ball. <laughs> I thought it would look different. <laughs> but, so I guess you can use it for your down coats and your comforters and then go play tennis. I, I, I don't know. I didn't know that it would still look the same. And this is for, from years ago. A little bit of a uh, lint on it, but I guess if you rub the lint off, let's see. There's a rub lint. There's a. Oh, it does rub off. Okay, so you rub the lint off, and you can then play tennis. So you can recycle, reuse, and repurpose your tennis balls to make your puffer coats and your down blankets puffy again, and then play tennis. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll upload more videos soon.